Hey everyone, I'm excited to show you how to go from Figma designs to responsive component-based Flutter code using Locofy. Locofy is an AI-powered developer tool that converts your designs into developer-friendly front-end code in a flash. Our plugin lives within the design tools you already know and love, such as Figma and Penpot. You can convert your designs into popular web and mobile frameworks, such as React, Next.js, HTML, Angular, Vue, Gatsby, React Native, and Flutter, with even more coming very soon. With the generated code, you can export or sync it to GitHub and VS Code. Now, let's head over to Figma to check out some samples. Over here, we have our design opened in Figma. It's a simple design that should look pretty familiar. We have a vehicle booking app with a clean home screen featuring quick access to different kinds of vehicles and recent bookings and activities. Let's zoom out and you'll notice that I've actually have two of the same designs. The one on the left is a poorly structured one and the one on the right is well structured. Although these two designs might look identical, they are actually worlds apart when you look into each layer. The design on the right is well structured because it follows the best design practices like grouping appropriate layers together, applying auto layout to every layer, adding constraints, defining gaps and alignments, avoiding overlapping layers and contextually naming layers. Locofy is highly dependent on you providing a well-structured design to be able to generate high quality developer friendly code. Very simply put, the more structured your designs, the better quality code you'll get from Locofy. All right, now let's try converting this poorly structured design to code and see what results we get. Locofy is even showing a message that this design is not fully optimized yet, but for demo's sake, We'll continue. Locofy is done converting my design to code, and over here I can see a live preview of the generated code. As you can tell, it does not match the design, the alignment is completely off, and all the images are missing. There is also a huge gap between elements and a few other issues. So this is a perfect example of what happens when your designs are badly structured. You will not get the desired results. Hence, ensuring your design is well-structured is the most important step to using Locofy and converting it to code. We'll be covering some of the steps to optimize your designs for high-quality code in this video. We also have a virtual design workshop where we guide you on how to properly optimize your designs for the best results. You can also earn free LDM tokens by joining the call. You can register for it by logging into your Locofy dashboard. All right. Now let's understand what went wrong and how we can optimize our designs to generate high quality code. First, notice how these elements are floating individually. They are absolutely placed. So let's start by grouping related elements together to establish a relationship between them and by applying auto layout property in Figma. Auto layout not only makes your design responsive to changes in width and height, but also allows you to easily control spacing, alignment, and gaps with ease. Let's start by optimizing the search input field. Instead of using rectangles for background and strokes, apply the fill color and stroke property to the parent frame. For this, let's move the rectangle outside and add auto layout to the frame and the icon. Let's also adjust the width and the height of the text. Next, let's copy the properties of the rectangle and apply to the frame. Finally, let's add some padding. Let's also take this simple container for example. Start by selecting these layers and grouping them together with the auto layout property applied using the Shift plus A keyboard shortcut. Now, let's adjust the alignment to be bottom aligned and add padding and gap. You might notice that the text does not look right. This is because the width is fixed. We recommend using either hug or fill width instead of a fixed width. Hug means um, taking as little space as possible, whereas fill means taking as much space as possible. For this case, I will set the text to hug. Finally, we will adjust the paddings. Now, this container is optimized and responsive. 
In the meantime, let's continue this demo with the well-structured version of the design. In addition to this design, we've also got a few more screens for this app design. Let's launch the Locofy plugin here and click to create a new project. The first step is to select the framework that you want to convert your designs into. We support both mobile and desktop frameworks. This is a mobile app, so let's select that and see all the available frameworks. In the next step, we have two popular frameworks, React Native and Flutter. I will select Flutter and create the project. Under Style Guide, I will let Locofy pick up my Figma variables and create global style variables. Okay, let's create the project now. In the final step, you can select UI libraries. I will go with Material UI. Looks like we are good to go. I'm going to start converting this design to code. Let's select the home screen frame only and click on Convert to Code. You'll see that Locofy instantly recognizes that my design is a prototype that's already connected to other frames. It's also offering to convert all the other frames to code and preserve my prototype interactions. Locofy's AI is built on top of our own proprietary large design models, trained on millions of designs and products. It's now automatically optimizing my designs. It only does this to a limited extent, so it's always best to do this yourself as much as possible. It is also tagging interactive elements, applying responsiveness, renaming layers to make them more contextual, and automatically detecting components and props. Locofy has finished converting my designs to code. You can see the generated Flutter code in the right panel here. This is clean, developer-friendly semantic code, so it's easy to read and update whenever needed. You can also adjust your code settings by clicking the icon at the bottom right. On the left side of the screen is the live preview. Now, this isn't just a typical prototype. It's a real preview rendered directly from the code that Locofy has generated. Features like drawer menus and bottom tabs are fully interactive. I can also drag the handles on the right to adjust the viewport width and you see how Locofy automatically applies responsiveness and everything is resizing beautifully. We are also able to achieve this perfect responsiveness because of the design itself. Let's try clicking on the bottom tabs over here and you'll notice that they open the linked pages. We are currently in the preview mode of the Locofy plugin. This is where you can check the live preview here to make sure that everything looks good including the interactions, layout, and responsiveness. Locofy does about 80% of the work for you, but no AI is perfect. There's always going to be some areas where you need to optimize and edit before pushing your code to production. And that's where the edit mode comes in. So this is where we can review all the decisions that Locofy has made and make any necessary changes. On the left panel over here, you can see all the decisions categorized. I can click into each one and review every single decision that was made. Let's take a quick look at all the components and props that Locofy has created. Let's click on the component and see all instances and the props. Over here, you can add, edit, delete new props, and the code will instantly regenerate to reflect the changes. I will rename the prop here and the code will be updated instantly. Besides looking at the Locofy decisions from a global view, I can also look at it from a single layer point of view. I can use the layer panel on the left to select or click on any layer in the live prototype. Let's click on this element here. We can see that Locofy has automatically tagged this as a date picker, and that's why I'm able to interact with it and trigger a date picker to appear when I click on it. We can also easily create components by selecting any layer and click on Create on the right side. You can also add actions and interactions to your elements. And lastly, review and edit the styling so it matches your requirements. We all know that AI isn't perfect, so Locofy gives you the tools to make any changes you want to ensure that your designs are pixel perfect. And that's how powerful and flexible Locofy is. Everything looks good, and I think we are ready to go. With the sync button at the top right, we can sync our code to the Locofy Builder, extend with Locofy MCP, or push directly into a GitHub repo. 
Let's go with the Locofy Builder. You can see Locofy automatically segregates our pages and components based on our designs. Let's sync all the frames. The Locofy Builder is where all the final pieces of the puzzle come together. If you're collaborating with the rest of your team on different sections of the screen, everything is seamlessly merged and collated in the Locofy Builder. In the Builder, you will have the same live preview on the left and the code on the right. You can check out the folder structure of the entire project by clicking on this icon on the top left corner. Feel free to move things around and create new folders. The code will instantly regenerate to reflect whatever changes that you have made. I will move some components into the separate UI folder, for example. Let's go back. Over here, I can share the live preview as a prototype with various stakeholders or clients to get alignment and buy-in. Okay, I think everything is set. Let's click on the blue button on the top right and I'm now presented with a variety of different options. Locofy can sync your entire project or individual components to GitHub. We can also create a pull request on existing branches. Next up, on the list of Locofy MCP servers, which easily connects with popular AI-powered editors such as Cursor and WinSurf. We also have the option to pull code directly into VS Code or simply download it as a zip file. All these different options ensure iterative development is a piece of cake with Locofy. Now, let's pull the code into our project using the Locofy MCP. Let's go to Project Settings and copy the MCP configurations. We'll be using Cursor as our IDE. Next, let's paste this into the mcp.json file inside the .cursor folder in Cursor and enable the server. All right, now let's use a simple prompt in Cursor chat to pull the booking page code and merge it with my code base. you'll see that it is calling the Locofy MCP server to fetch the code. All right, we can see that the code is pulled and everything looks good. We can also go beyond the UI by prompting and adding state management, validation logic, API integrations, and more. And with just a single prompt, I can add the form validation to this page. It is done, and let's check. We can see that the validation logic is working fine. Now, let's head over to the notifications page and add some functionality here. I want to add swipe to delete features to these offer cards. For this, I will again prompt in the chat. And now it is finished. It looks good and works as expected. And that's how you can easily go beyond UI and start adding real functionality to bring your product to life. So that's a quick demo of how you can go from Figma to mobile apps. Locofy accelerates your product team and helps you go to market lightning fast. We are super excited for you to try us out and experience Locofy for yourself. We have a bunch of sample projects on our Figma community profile to get you started. I've added a link to the description below. And that's all for now. We can't wait to see what you build with Locofy.